If you want to make your electrical connections easier, don't use a wire nut. I made an entire video explaining why, if you want to make the best electrical connections possible quicker and easier than any other method, you want to use these Wago 221 electrical connectors. Now they might not look like much until you actually try them out. Just cut and strip the length of wire you want, insert it into the connector with the lever flipped up, close it, and your electrical connection is completely done. But these still get better because you can even mix and match different types of wire and sizes, so you can have 12 14 gauge wire, put them into each one of the Wago sockets, and when you flip that lever closed, the connector will figure out the right amount of tension to securely hold each piece of wire in position. And don't forget about the holy grail of electrical connections, mixing stranded and solid wire together. If you've ever tried that with a wire nut, it's kind of like playing the lottery. It might work, or maybe it'll just let go at the worst possible moment. With Wagos, that problem is eliminated completely. You can mix stranded and solid wire. It makes no difference. You'll get a perfect connection every single time. And you're probably thinking if you use these Wago 221s, you'd be on a path to enlightenment, but unfortunately, Unfortunately, you'd be completely wrong because Wago had one huge problem with this product lineup that they had never addressed in the past until now. Here you're looking at the newest member of the Wago 221 lineup. This is their inline connector. It has all the same characteristics of the regular 221s except now you can actually connect them directly in line with your wiring. Now you might be thinking big deal, but this is huge in the electrical world because many people wanted to use these in places like RVs, boats, even situations in your house for electrical wiring where having both wires parallel to one another and generally facing upright could actually be a problem in many different electrical situations. Here you're looking at the inside of my electric panel where I wanted to replace this doorbell transformer. Now of course I could have used the regular Wago 221s, but in this situation I didn't want to have any more wire than I needed to. So by using the inline connector, you can see that I'm able to make the connection of course right in line with the wires and I don't have anything sticking up, nothing to get in the way. I'm actually reducing the wire length by about six inches each. It also gives me a much nicer finished look and leaves me plenty of room for extra wiring in the future. For those of you making connections inside RVs, boats, within machinery, these inline connectors will be a dream because they're going to reduce the amount of space you'll need. Now you might be thinking, why not just buy these inline connectors and use them for all your different electrical jobs? But that really is not going to be the right answer because most electrical wiring in your house will take place inside junction boxes like this. Here I was replacing this old switch with a much more advanced motion sensing switch. This is a perfect situation for Wagos because this switch already comes with wires attached to the end. I just attached one of the traditional Wago 221s to it and now I can attach the other end of the wire. Now of course you could use an inline connector, but because you're inside a really small box, the inline would actually make a little bit more of an obstruction. By using the regular style, you can easily fold them up inside the box. They not only improve the way you make connections and do it faster, they give you extra advantages because if you mess up or you want to change it down the road, just lift that lever up and the wire can be easily removed. But I've learned over time there are two types of people, those that have used these connectors and absolutely love them and the others swear they'll never try these things and they're never going to be better than wire nuts. But I recommend to anyone, if you give these things a chance, you will never go back to using wire nuts ever again. Another cool feature about these inline models is you can also apply things like electric tape over them or even shrink wrap them when you're done. Now they're not going to be completely waterproof, but this is a way of securing those levers so that they can't be tampered with or snagged on and they do give them some protection against dust and dirt. And keep in mind, Wagos are awesome, but they're really only for dry wiring. Now, of course, you can use them inside of junction boxes that are rated for wet duty because those, of course, are going to have a gasket to seal the connectors inside. But you wouldn't want to use them in places like on your trailer wiring, anywhere that would be directly subject to any type of water spray or salt. And I hope you like this video. If you want to see my original video on Wagos in detail, you can click on the link in the upper right hand corner. And if you found this video helpful, be sure to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you're not already for more videos coming up.